everybody, and welcome to our midweek update. The midweek update. Midweek update, or something like Whatever. that. Anyway, <laughs> so um, for those of you that are new to our channel, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you take a moment to hit that subscribe button, mm -hmm. and also hit the little bell beside of it, because what that bell does is it notifies you every time we post a new video, and that way you won't miss a single episode. That's so. Great. Um, we appreciate all of our subscribers, everybody that's joined our Travels with Delaney Caravan, um, and we appreciate each and every one of you. But I did want to point out that we have what I kind of consider like a celebrity subscriber. Yes, we do. And this <laughs> week we are honored to welcome to the Travels with Delaney Caravan, Ross and Heather Dupre. Dupre. Yes. So for any of you who might follow the Duprays, and you may know them, but um, they actually subscribe to our channel. And so uh, we just wanted to welcome Ross and Heather along with all of our other new subscribers. If you don't subscribe to the Duprays, I'm gonna put a link up here so you can go over and check out their channel. We actually started following them, I think about two years ago. I think so, they were, I remember they, they were, were just in... moving into their brand new Jayco fifth wheel. Mm -hmm. And they, I remember being them at Myrtle Beach. At Myrtle Beach, mm -hmm. and then they went up into the Carolinas. Now they're actually um, on a, piece of property that they bought and they're going to be building a house and they're turning the garage there into like a, a mother-in-law suite. suite yeah and so and what I really like about the Duprays is they just keep it real like nothing scripted no. it's just you see the real emotion and that's what I love about their channel mm -hmm. is um yeah, it's real. Yeah, it's it really is real. I mean, when Heather is irritated with <laughs> Ross, I mean, she basically says, "Get that camera out of my face." So, yeah, yeah. so anyway, we just wanted to welcome them sure. to our little channel. Yeah. And again, we appreciate each and every one of you who's a subscriber. So, um, let's see. Oh, I did want to mention one other thing, Patty. Uh, nice. So I had this idea this week, and I don't know whether we'll do anything with it or not. But um, for any of you that might be YouTube creators yourself, meaning you have a channel, you're trying to grow your channel like us, I was actually kicking around the idea of doing a YouTube creator meetup oh, yeah. where, mm -hmm. um, and primarily I think it would be those of us in the RV, RV outdoor community because we could get together. And what I'm thinking is like a long weekend where we pick a location to go camping and um, we could just all literally share ideas and thoughts on what's working for you. How can we build our channels together? And um, and then, you know, just what are some maybe some strategies for going mm -hmm. forward? So if any of you, and I know several of you, a lot of you have channels, yeah. um, and I'm thinking we should keep it to uh, any channel that has under 10,000 subscribers. Although if Ross and Heather want to come, maybe they could be like our keynote sure. speakers. Um, but you know, that was what I was thinking was, that, you know, those of us that have under 10,000 subscribers, maybe we could plan a, an event later this summer, like late summer, early fall, and do like a two or a three day weekend. And we would all be the presenters where we would share our what works for us yeah. or what has worked for us right. and we could get ideas from each other. So anyway, just something I'm throwing out there. If anybody else is interested, you know, shoot me an email. You can find our email on our YouTube homepage or you can go over to Facebook and join our Facebook page and message me directly there. Um, just something I was thinking about. Right. Maybe like a YouTube creators getaway weekend to strategize and share ideas and right. things like that. Help so. each other out. Yep. All right. So what we really want to talk to you about tonight was Luke over on um, Great Family Escape did a video last week where he just kind of shared his thoughts mm -hmm. on why they bought a travel trailer. What they're doing, why yep. they do it. And why they are mm -hmm. on YouTube. Yeah. And then I, and he had asked other subscribers to comment. And so I had kind of shared our story and he had suggested, I'm hearing the wind pick up. Yeah, our up. wind's picking up. <laughs> um, hopefully it's not messing with the audio. So he had suggested that maybe we should share that story with all of you. Sure. And so that's what we thought we would do tonight. Yep. Um, basically, looking back, because we were talking about this the other day, that it all started because we wanted to be able to travel and be with our pets. Uh, especially we had our first dog, Maddie. We wanted to be able to take her with us because we always tried to find someone to watch her and take care of her. And we did have people and friends, but then it just became a time when we were like, we wanted her to come along. So Right. And I remember that first trip we took with her, mm -hmm. um, we went down to Memphis and then Vicksburg, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of hard back then trying to find hotels oh, right. that were pet friendly that were actually decent to stay in. Right. And 
I think that's when we actually got the idea that maybe if we bought a camper, it would be a lot easier. Right, we could take it and be ours. So, yeah. so that's what we got the idea on our first trailer um, was a tab. Yeah, it was a 2005 <laughs> tab back when Dutchman was making them. Yeah. And really, we went looking for, right after that spring break trip to Mississippi, we wanted, well, a pop-up. Pop we were looking mm -hmm. for a pop-up, mm -hmm. and most of them are our vehicle at the time, a Saturn View, couldn't tow them. Right. A lot of the pop-ups were like 2,500 pounds. And we were at a Jayco dealership, and they had the tab like, on the showroom. Right. And yeah, they had taken it in on trade. The The couple, if I remember the story right, they had bought it, and the wife hated it after like only, two trips. Yeah, they didn't use it very much. And yeah. so we ended up paying, I think, like 9500 for that. Mm -hmm. But it was basically a brand new trailer. Right. And... Um, it didn't really meet our needs mm. from the standpoint of we you wanted a bathroom right but then i thought well we were just starting off and we decided you know looking around because we knew that you know they have bath houses and things like that that we could use so we decided to go that route and it was something we could afford yeah and we could pull and we loved that yeah. tab that's when we fell in love with tabs uh -huh. it was stylish um it 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 was just trendy looking. Right, it was small. And it was well built. Yep. Even even those Dutchmans um, were, you know, they were putting in high-end features like the Cool Cat, like the Fantastic Fan. The heat pump. Yeah, with the heat pump. And we, and had, the, we had that for two summers. summers right. Yeah, we took it everywhere. We went to, I remember we went to Hagerstown, or, yeah, I think it was yeah. Hagerstown, Maryland twice, and then visited Gettysburg. Um, we went to Myrtle Beach right. with it. We went to Tennessee. We did a lot of just state parks mm -hmm. in the area. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and then we were on a four weekend seasonal package at our local Jellystone. <laughs> We'd done that for two years. And in fact, just to share real quickly, when we bought our camper, our salesman said, Hey, I have the seasonal lot. You ought to come over and check it out. You might be interested. And you and remember, we were like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> why, we bought a camper to travel, <laughs> yeah. not park it someplace. Well, we became seasonal. <laughs> well, not yet in the story. Well, right. Yeah, I guess we did. Eventually. Eventually. Yeah. <laughs> so at the end of the second year of camping, mm -hmm. we kind of decided we wanted wanted to upgrade to something with a bathroom right and a shower right and so we ended up trading on a and i have these written yeah, down i don't remember what it was uh, somewhere oh right here, here. <laughs> that's why you should write them on something bigger than a post -it note. okay <laughs> it was a 2005 fleetwood resort ext and the ext meant um extension and the whole back slid out. That was our bed. That was our bed. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like a cubicle yeah, when you, you to, think about you it. Yeah, you had to climb up in there. Mm -hmm. But that trailer, if you remember, it was used. And again, it was a family that had owned it for one summer. Right. And they were going seasonal and bought like a 30-footer or something. It was nice. Yeah. It was really nice. And it had a great smell. The smell to it was very, I don't know, I don't woodsy, know. how to explain it. But yeah, it it's hard to explain. <laughs> and so we had that. We bought that in late September. Right. Used it a few times in the fall, and then we used it in the spring to go to Florida. Right. That right. was when we first got Delaney. Right. And then, uh, and then that spring we went seasonal. Right. And we're like, we can't. We need more space. Yeah. After <laughs> after what about a month? Yeah. We like, we realized this thing's too small if we're going to come up here every weekend. Right. It felt like we were living in a hallway. Right. Mm -hmm. So we only had that camper for about six months, I think, I think through so. the winter, nonetheless. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and then we ended up trading on a 2004 Jayco J Feather, and I think that thing was like 30 or more feet. It was big. It was big. It was, it low was to used. The it was really low to the ground to where I remember a couple times thinking I was going to take out the sewer pipe. Yeah. And it had another, and it also had a smell. A different kind of smell, not a good smell. Not a good we smell. Had to, we that one was kind of our fun one. We could revamp the whole inside. Right, because it was older. Yeah. And so we did some redecorating. We put up a wallpaper border, we and I think we put paint. up day night shades because yeah. it had like the mini blinds. We got some nicer chairs and so forth. Yeah. And it was a lot bigger. It was really nice right. mm -hmm. in terms of space. space right. So we kept that that entire summer. Um, which means we only had that one for about five months. Right. <laughs> and then that fall, Patty hated that trailer as far as like the smell. She kept just, saying, there's a smell. I just can't get rid it of it. It was just an musty yeah, old smell or something. Get rid of the weird we tried everything. Uh -huh. And so we ended up trading in at the end of that summer <laughs> on a brand new 2007 Hornet. Yeah. And we thought, we really thought we... Well, and what was unique about that one is our seasonal site, we could look at the lake, and this yeah. one had some windows It had a front window side. on the front, so we could look, look out, out at the, the lake, lake, except mm -hmm. when you were sitting in the couch, the window was too thing. high, so right. you couldn't actually see. Right. <laughs> but if you stood out, you could look at the lake. Right. And it had the queen 
big queen bed in the back. Right. Um, uh, it was just a really nice brand new trailer. trailer yeah. And so we ended up keeping that Hornet um, for one year. <laughs> One camping season. Yeah. You're starting to see a theme yeah. here. Um, we did uh, travel with it as well. Even right. though we were seasonal, we were we still taking it. trips. We took it to Memphis. Right, we went there again. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we took it to Florida for spring break. I think so, yeah. And, um, and yeah. you know, so. And at the end of that camping season, we ended up trading on our 2009 Cougar fifth, fifth wheel. wheel. Our big house on wheels. And the <laughs> good part is we kept that trailer for, time. what, about 10 years, I, I think. I think so. Something like that. Was that was on our or... seasonal site. And... Yeah, we had it on our seasonal site. We loved the Cougar. It did go to Key West. Yeah, we traveled with Disney. the Cougar. We were on a, We still had a seasonal site, but we, we it made several trips to Florida, yeah. including, like Patty said, all the way to Key West one summer. Yeah. Um, we had taken it to Memphis on a trip. In Disney. In Disney. Right. So we did travel. And right. I love the fifth wheel from a pulling standpoint. I remember the first time we were pulling it, and you looked over, and you're like, you need to slow down. You remember <laughs> I that? Did. I did. I like, slow down. I was actually doing 80 <laughs> just because I didn't even feel it, it back there. I didn't feel it back yeah. there, and I was just cruising and didn't even look at the... Um, yeah, because your tire yeah. was just pulling. And so I was like, oh, my goodness, and I slowed way down. Oh, but sure. that, it just pulled like it wasn't there. Right. And it was so a good trailer. It was a very good trailer. We used it a lot. We basically lived in mm -hmm. that trailer every summer, summer for, I think it was eight or nine, eight summers, I right, think. Right, because how our jobs are, we could live there and then go, Seven to, work, summers, go yeah. to work easily. Yeah. yeah. So we'd literally just move out of our house in April, and, in mm -hmm. April and move to the lake and stay there all summer until like mid-October. Yep. I would swing by our house, um, which was then. about halfway between right. work and the lake. And I just stopped by and mow once a week. Um, Keep it looking nice there. So. so we really enjoyed our, and that was a 35 foot um, Cougar fifth wheel. Right. Mm -hmm. And that, we bought that brand new. Right. So, and then what happened was we ended up buying Tall Pine Lodge. Right. And Tall Pine Lodge is what, 15 minutes from where our lake site was? Right. We just couldn't see spending yeah. 20, whatever it was, 20, Two twenty three hundred dollars a year for a lake lot when to go 15 minutes away right. and so and we after being seasonal for nine years i think we were ready to travel again exactly ready to get out so we ended up trading the cougar in on a 2016 vintage cruiser, cruiser. by golf stream yeah um it was nice it was beautiful it was, it was cute very retro -y. yes um, you could make it look like a little 50s diner in there. That's what it reminded me of. But but picture this. <laughs> a calendar, ca not a calendar, a colander, colander that you strain your vegetables in. This thing leaked like a colander. Yes. Yes. All From the over. minute we got a brand new trailer, yep. very first trip, went Water to Myrtle everywhere. Beach, rained heavy um, getting there. Yep. When we got there, not only was the queen walk-around bed soaked, to where we had to take, Patty had to take had to the take sheets the sh off and go up and dry them yep. just to go to bed. But the dinette, the dinette was, was also soaked, which wall, was where my father was sleeping. And I think the wall the behind wall, the oven area, the sink yeah. area, was just, it was a mess. And the so when we got home, they ended up having to take it back to the factory. Mm -hmm. And we never could really get an answer on what mm -hmm. they did. They just said they fixed it. Yeah. But I, what I noticed was lots of clear silicone caulk on the outside. And I honestly... After that, I just never felt like that trailer well, was... Well, we just didn't feel comfortable because we were just kind of leery. There might be mold. Long term. Yeah. And, and just, um, it just... And it was kind of harder to pull. And it. And if you remember, they kind of lost our trailer for a couple yeah, days because... Yeah, couldn't find it. I finally called the dealership and they said, well, they didn't know. They hadn't heard from the factory. And then it I called just, the factory and they were like, we shipped that a couple days ago. Like, how do you lose a trailer? And yeah, it just... It was weird. It was weird. Mm -hmm. And so I guess I just, it never leaked again per se, but I didn't feel like they fixed it for the long term. Right. And um, the other thing was uh, that summer we ended up trading the Vehicle. truck in on the Forerunner. Mm -hmm. And the thing just pulled, it, technically it pulled it, you know, it was 3,500 right. pounds. You could load it to 5,000. Mm -hmm. The Forerunner is rated for 5,000, mm -hmm. but it pulled like a box. Yeah. I mean, it just pulled like a box. And so we started looking that fall. At our pods. We were, I was dead set on an R pod. Right. I loved the look, and I just decided. I think what I learned was uh, the vintage, I believe, was 21 or 22 feet. And what I learned was when you go small, 
you might as well go small. Right, because you Be spend your time outside. Yes, and you can't really do a whole lot more no. in a 21 foot than you can do in an 18 right. foot. And I just, I just wanted something that I could pull really easy and park it anywhere. So we got buzz. So that's when that that next. So we had that vintage for basically one year. Right. Um, we purchased that, I think, in February. And the next February, we traded the vintage on Buzz. And most of you are familiar with Buzz, our 2017 Jayco Hummingbird. Right. And we took Buzz everywhere. everywhere. We went to um, Myrtle Beach. We went to Tennessee. Um, Colorado. Yeah, we went to Colorado. We, we, the, the watch our Going trip. West series. Yeah. I'll put the link up here. If you haven't seen the Going West, you'll and see everywhere. And we took it to... Um, Florida. And we took it to... Vermont. <laughs> we took it to Ocean City. Oh, yes. <laughs> Our Going East series. Maybe I'll put that one up there, too, if you haven't seen it. It went everywhere. It went everywhere. We love that thing. It's just we couldn't get the refrigerator. Good Lord, I'm starting to sound like Howard Dean. We just couldn't get the refrigerator to work. I don't know if anybody that got that one. So. <laughs> okay. So... But that was We're the refrigerator, fans, the refrigerator so. issue on that one was our problem. Yes. And so the refrigerator never did work right. And yeah. so, and it was, well, we'll just let it go. We just decided we, we wanted a tap. Yeah. So everything goes in full circle, they say. And, now we're and that's where we're at. We're finally back in our tab yeah. that we've wanted ever yeah. since. I think I always regretted trading yeah, the tab. Yeah, I think we did too. And, um, but the tab 400 is so much better than the original tab because we have the bathroom. luxurious bathroom. Yep. Shower. Yep. And you have all uh, a bed the, that you can leave made up. Yeah, yep, and, and it's, um, just the, it's just the same good quality that we had before. Yep. So, so yeah. we're in the twenty four or twenty eighteen tab four hundred. Yeah, and then also we had one more trailer that <laughs> somewhere in there. We bought my sister's yes, um, two thousand and nine Hornet that we had parked on in, a seasonal lot for in, the last what three years, two in years Florida. in Florida. Right, and we primarily bought that after my mom died. Right thinking my dad would go to Florida in the winters and use it, yeah. and, use it and he just never really, he used and it for maybe a month or two total in the two years. Yeah. And I just couldn't see paying no. lot rent to use it once a year when we go right. at Christmas. So, right. um, so that's why this past winter we traded it in on, we took it and Buzz and traded it in on, on the tab. Carl. On Carl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and we also, let's throw in two more camping units. We had, <laughs> we still have the Marmot backpacking tent. Oh yeah, we did some backpacking and hiking in there too. So we got yep. a Marmot Limelight three, three person three tent, per, yep. tent and, and we got what I call the condo the tent. The condo tent, the REI Kingdom, or is it? Is that what I think it is? It's a kingdom. Yeah. Six. You could stand six up person in it. tent. Yeah, it's huge. We actually, when we and we haven't went tent camping now in two summers since I broke my leg. Yeah. No, we went. We went two years ago to Colorado. That's true. You're right. But this thing is great. This key, <laughs> this REI tent is great because we actually put one of those double inflatable mattresses. It's so it huge. looks like it has a box ring. We set it up and we're able to take our duffel bags that we put our clothes in on each side like, like little nightstands. Stands, uh -huh. And you can walk all the way around the bed uh -huh. and stand up to change your clothes. Yeah. That thing is awesome. Yeah. And what made it even better was... It was on clearance. Well, yeah, because somebody had bought it <laughs> and uh, when they stitched the pocket, they had caught the bottom of the tent so the one corner that doesn't lay flat. And so REI had it on their garage sale rack, and we just happened to get lucky. We just right. showed up at an REI, and I think it was like $69. It was ridiculous. It was like $400 off right. the regular price, and they even let us put it up in the store to just make to make sure. We sure. Wanted it. Yeah. So we did that. And I remember my nephew was with me, and he's like, come on, Uncle Pat, you ought to buy it. It's a good deal. And I'm like, we'll never. Alex, when are we ever going to use this? And we've used that tent. A lot. We have definitely got our money's worth. Delaney so. loved that tent. Yeah. She would lay right on that bed. She wanted to be in there all the time. So anyway, that's kind of a history of our uh, camping where experience. Where it all started. And it all started with, with Maddie yeah, wanting our, to take Maddie, our first dog, dog with dog. us. Mm -hmm. And we love camping. Yeah. We love the people. I think that's one of the, you know, I always say when you're in a campground, mm -hmm. everybody says hi. You go to a hotel, nobody says mm -hmm. hi. Not really, no. And I love a trailer because it's our sheets. It's our, you know, towels, it's our bathroom, it's our dirt yes. versus somebody else's. Right, right. And, um, yeah, I, and we love nature. Yeah, so. we love being outside. So that's kind of a history yep. of the camping. Now, as far as why we're doing YouTube, well... well first, just we wanted our family to be able to watch us on our trips to know what we were doing. Yeah. Because they wanted to know what was going on and where we were going, and that was a way to start doing that and have fun with it. Yeah, it was really last summer. Mm -hmm. It was just we wanted to share with our family and friends so mm -hmm. they knew where we were at and what we were doing. Yeah. And we kind of talked about it, but I don't think we really thought we could grow the channel. No. And, in fact, if you remember, if you watch Going West, West. Part 1, uh -huh. Episode 1, uh -huh. 
we're talking about how many, and I was like, I set a goal of 50 subscribers, and Patty, at the time, we were at 16. And 17. Patty's like, I'll take 17. <laughs> I'll <laughs> take 17. <laughs> so, and that's why we started, and then slowly the channel, well, not really slowly. It, yeah, it was very slowly. Slow at first. Yeah, it grew very slowly at, at first. first. yeah. But I think by fall, we started seeing some growth, and right. we were getting good comments, and now I feel like we're trying to truly build a brand. Exactly. And, you know, I don't know why. I just, I, I like having this community. All of you are wonderful. You leave wonderful comments and you're supportive. And I guess as long as you're watching, we'll mm -hmm. probably keep doing this. Sure. But that's why we're doing YouTube. And, you know, we, you know, a lot of people might say, well, you're just trying to make money. Honestly, everything we've made, we've either donated to charity or put, back or put right back into the equipment. That we use, and so. um, yeah. and we still haven't paid for the drone. No. So, you know, if down the road, if we could make money, that would be great. But I don't really see that, at least not for a very, very long time. Right. Um, we do it more for fun. Right. And, and for you. Right. So. All right, this is a long video for a weekly update. It is a long one. So I hope you enjoyed that little trip trailers. down history. <laughs> I know. I, I did say, I think I, I might have even told Luke this in a comment. I can't remember who. Or maybe it wasn't Luke. But I, if I had all the money that we've spent on trailers over the years that we've lost on trading in, mm -hmm. um, man, we could probably retire now. We could probably pay for that drone. <laughs> we could pay for that drone, yeah. Um, and my one piece of advice on that is if you're, getting, if you're thinking about buying a camping yeah. unit, Think long term. Mm -hmm. Don't be held back from getting the Buy camper you want. Yeah, because a lot of times we bought campers based upon tow vehicle, vehicles. and Having then only to, to then up. trade up for right. another tow vehicle, and then go, oh, we could have got a bigger camper. Mm -hmm. And um, and you have to, and that'll be a whole separate video. I, I think I'm going to do a video on choosing the right trailer. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So, anyway, hopefully that was helpful. Yeah. Hopefully not too boring. Hopefully not too boring. And, <laughs> and I guess if you did find it boring, we lost you probably 10 yep, minutes ago, so you're already ago. gone. So, <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> so we will have a video on Friday. I, I, don't, I don't know how much longer I can keep these three a week I up. don't know. We're trying. But I do have a video coming for you on Friday at the much-anticipated antenna review everybody i should say everybody but a lot of you have asked about me doing a review on that antenna yeah i keep sending everybody over to lose channel rv habit but yep. but i do have a video and it's coming on friday so yeah all right all right until next time everybody we'll see you on down the road good night good night